Okay, so in this video, I will make a quick tutorial how to change these two icons, the drawer icon and the end drawer icon. So I follow from my previous tutorial. So if you don't know this, maybe uh, you can just pause the video and then uh, watch the first one in the link uh, down below. So just go to the first screen here. So actually the icon here, you can just change it in the app bar. Okay, so if you use leading, and then you can just use icon button here. You have on press. And then you have icon. You can change to any icon you like. So let's say just use space for this example. All right, so now you can have this icon, but when you click on it, you don't have the drawer. For the iOS, you still can drag the drawer menu from the size, but I believe in Android, you cannot do that. Okay, so you have to click on that. So you have to uh, open it with this click. So to do that, first you you have to uh, command this code or delete this code and then you declare a variable called global key and this is a scaffold state and just call it uh, what it scaffold key and global key like this yeah, maybe this and then you can just change back to final or maybe just label the final uh, at the beginning like this and you have to uh, embed the key into the scaffold key here so after that you can just freely use this uh, drawer uh, button by call it scaffold key current state and you have to put the exclamation because it uh, can have null and then you open drawer like this okay so you click on this okay. you run it okay now you can open it back so, so to understand this is that um in in flutter itself you can see the the scaffold or any uh, widget, there is no object declaration for that because they use um, kind of like a build state for the widget building. So you don't necessarily use the object to do anything. Okay, that's why you never see scaffold and variable like this and then you then use the uh, sc for adding any app bar at all you usually see the return like this so this is the way that uh, flutter build okay so in order to tell the scaffold that now i need you to do something for me so instead of using the object from the scaffold you have to use the key and there are a lot of things about the key here. You have public key, uh, key, unique key, global key. But in this case, we use uh, global key. To understand that, maybe I will make a video about the global key or you know about the keys itself in another video. But um, just to be quick, just to do like me, just embed it in here. Now you can uh, open it with this code, okay? To, you can do that with the this one as well so you just change back to accent and then you can have many button you like maybe two is enough and this one maybe you have a share icon or maybe setting okay just use setting here I don't see my setting Oh. 
Okay, setting. And this one, uh, maybe I use the, this, okay. Only one, okay. And then uh, maybe more menu, more horizon. Uh, like this, and then I, I can still drag my menu, but I want to open it from the click. So just put comma here, and then control command option L to make it underline like this, um, you know, new line like this. And now you can do the same. But if you use this method, you can open it from this less. <laughs> But you have uh, another method called open and drawer like this. So, like this. so it means that you can open any drawer from any point in the the app itself. You don't have to click on this to open it. You even click on this to open, just like in Facebook. Okay, just copy this line of code, and you go down uh, this here. this now you can open it all right so this is the way you can change the icon of the drawer from the left side and the right side so that's it for this video if you think this video is helpful please give a thumb up and share to your friends and if you still have any problem or you know error please comment down below I will try to solve your problem so thank you and I will see you in the next video